Okay, so like here's the thing about little sisters. They're little pieces of shit. You know what the problem is about older sisters? They think they know everything. She has absolutely no idea what she's talking about. I mean, uh, uh, I was the first one out. I mean, okay, she's my twin and stuff like that, but I still call her my little sister after all. Well, yeah, see, here's the thing. She thinks she's better than me because she was born, what, like 20 minutes before I was? Pfft. The nerve. Everybody already knows that I'm number one. Uh, yeah, you may be number one, but guess what? Uh, I'm an improvement over the original. Besides, she's just complaining because she doesn't have a boyfriend and, like, all the guys want to just talk to me instead of her. Well, yeah, every single one of the guys at school wants to talk to her because of the one thing- No, wait, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'll take the high road. But she is dating this one piece of shit named Victor, and oh my god, this guy is just so stupid. Oh, my boyfriend is not a piece of shit. Did she tell you that? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dude, she just doesn't know men like I do. Oh yeah, she totally knows guys like... <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Danger Doug and today we're going to be taking a look at Animes, which is the successor to Face Rig. Haltech Studios had debuted Animes in the Steam store around November 17th, well it was essentially last month, and it didn't exactly get all that great reviews as soon as it made its drop. And there's a big reason for this, I mean just going over to the review board for Steam for like 10 seconds and stuff and you'll see exactly why it hasn't been so very well received. Now when Holotech Studios put out animes, there were several different limitations here and there for a lot of creators, including a time limit here and there and how like long you could actually use the application before it shuts down on you, and a little bit of a thing here and there with a little bit of a paywall if you wanted to upload your own avatars. And although the paywall wasn't really much, I think it was 99 cents per avatar, it's one of those weird things where it's like if you have an avatar or like a group of avatars, like let's say you're doing like one for Halloween or perhaps Christmas or something and you want to kind of change it up a little bit you had to pay the 99 cents each and every single time if you wanted to upload your own custom avatar. Now although the subscription to it on an annual basis is not really too much even for a lot of partnered streamers on YouTube and Switch it's one of those things where they really just kind of turned a lot of people off and that's why a lot of the reviews were initially negative. But Holotech Studios listened to a lot of you guys the creators in the community and essentially did away with all the microtransactions per avatar upload and now you can actually do all that stuff for free. And in addition to that the 45 minute rule here and there with using the application for free users has actually been extended to 90 minutes so for everybody who's just kind of starting their Twitch channel or YouTube channel and wants to kind of try VTubing a little bit you actually have a lot more time to use it which makes it a whole lot easier um, especially for a lot of people who want to actually kind of do those things for smaller streams. But now that we've covered all that let's dive into animes and see what Holotech Studios has actually put out for you the creators and see how it stacks up against face rig. Let's check it out. So opening up animes over here, we essentially get a look as to what we got in the application. Now the first thing I usually want to do when we open these things is to calibrate. So hit Control C, and then you open up your calibration window. And essentially just kind of getting yourself into a neutral stance and then hit the calibrate button. Um, animes is pretty good about detecting your um, features and expressions here and there, and probably even more so than face rig is, just because their facial tracking actually was a big improvement over face rig the first time I used it. And even expressions like surprise or um, just sort of like shock or just tilting your head and just kind of like, you know, giving a few smiles here and there and just other expressions were detected far more easily over in animes than in comparison to face rig. Now again, you do have several avatars here and there to choose from, so you can cycle through a lot of the popular ones over here, or you can go over to the all avatars section and kind of go over a couple of the ones that they've got in their library. Some of these ones do have a couple of different bits of paywall behind them. It's only just probably you've got a couple bucks here and there if you wanted to purchase a couple more of those ones. But as far as switching avatars, it's really not too bad here and there. So I mean, you can just select a lot of the ones that they have in their library for free and just kind of mess with them these ways here and there. And, um, and again, it's pretty seamless here and there with the transitions. I'm just going to go into Danny the Wolf over here really quick to see exactly what we can do about this one. But... You can create different um, customizations for the avatars and those will save out here and there in the avatar slides. So if you were to dress up one of your avatars in different props or perhaps change any of their hair colors or something, any of those ones that are customized will also appear automatically over here too. You can also go down to props over here. So again, like I mentioned beforehand, with the use of props, um, you can get like a different hats or glasses or 
even a mustache if you really, really, really wanted to do that for uh, your avatar. Kind of appropriate, isn't it, Midori? Or maybe not. Now, me personally, I also love going into the backgrounds. Now, if you were to um, put this into your OBS broadcaster, I highly recommend that you stick with the green screen. But you can give um, your avatar different backgrounds over here that are preloaded into animes, and um, the ones that they actually had loaded in over here in comparison to face rig are pretty solid. Um, so far, so good. Um, but most of the time, like 95% of the time or more, I'll just be using the uh, green screen, especially with my OBS broadcaster for Twitch streams or YouTube streams or something like that. You also have different animations over here too, so if you wanted to pick up this menu over here, you'd have different ones that you can have her do, where you can have her give you a heart or something, or you can have her um, give you like a wave of some kind, so there's different customizations that you can do with these ones, and you can set them to hotkeys, but you do have that option um, as a creator to actually put this one out there. And going up to the top menu, you actually have access to all those buttons down below over here in the top menu, so if you want to get to animations that way, you actually can feel free to do so. But what if you want to actually like change those hotkeys here and there, if you want to, um, like, instead of using your normal things, if you're doing like a computer game instead of doing like maybe, let's say, an Xbox or PlayStation game, you can come over here to settings and go down to your animations and reset your hotkeys over here. So if you want to use a different button on your keyboard here and there to actually uh, control your avatar, you have the creative freedom to do that. And then let's go over to the shop over here really quick. Now, when we look at the different like perks that you get over here, they did change a little bit as far as the free subscription um, in comparison to the paid one. So even if you are a, um, a YouTube partner, you still do have access to a lot of this stuff for free. Although the perks that you do get in terms of creative licensure um, for a lot of these ones, if you want to actually monetize your content, are actually a lot better if you do um, pay for the content. But yes, we do get uh, 90 minutes per webcam session with this one, and as far as your avatars, you can actually now import all these ones, including backgrounds, yes you guessed it, for free. Which was a huge bonus to everybody who uh, saw the update patch over here in December 15th, so definitely take it for sure. Now going over the importation of your avatars, it has to be saved in a .avatar format, it can't be a VRM, and um, big reason why I want to bring this up is because I know a lot of people like to experiment here and there with Vroid Studios and um, it's one of those things where if you have a .vrm model here and there that you normally use in Wakaru or some other application like 3Teen, you won't be able to actually upload it to FaceRig. It only reads .avatar files, so would highly recommend if you want to commission a work that you reach out to one of the FaceRig artists, which actually can be reached over here. This link will take you to the uh, Google Sheet that they do have with different artist names and the ways that you can contact them and the types of avatars that they do. So if it's 3D or 2D avatars, you can contact these people, get in touch and get a commission in. But did Holotech Studios do a really good job with putting this one out together? I believe that they actually did. The improvements that were made over here in terms of face tracking and also just making sure that all the details from the default avatars that were updated, it's covered over pretty well. I've actually had a lot of fun using it, and um, in terms of customizing the characters, that's a very nice and really cool feature, and I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Now again, the patch update that they came out with this past week and stuff has been absolutely tremendous, so for everybody else out there who is like looking to use this and try it out as a free user, you are more than welcome to do so and actually get some good stuff out of it. But what do you guys think about this one? Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe down below. Let me know your thoughts here and there about how exactly it stacks up against FaceRig if you're a FaceRig user, or if you find that this anime's application has been a whole lot better for you. Let us know exactly how it's going. I'd love to hear a lot of your stories about how the application has been working out for you. In OB testing for me at least, I found that Animaze has actually been outperforming face rig in terms of like making sure that resource management is pretty good with it without overloading your CPU or any of that good stuff, but I want to hear from you guys exactly how it's been going for all of you. Let me know in the comments section down below and we can get some discussion going. And with that, I will see you soon in the next video. Bye guys! Oh well, yeah, me and Victor are going to the mall afterwards, so if anything, like it should be a really nice time. Oh, by the way, um, this is one other thing that's going on in her life right now. Well, apparently she didn't get into the college that she wanted to, and, uh, yeah, I can definitely see why with her grades. Pah. Oh, what, now you're gonna complain about my grades? Bitch, please. She's totally dumb as bricks. That's what you get for being the little sister. Heh 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 heh.
Yeah, like she got into the school of her choice. Oh my god, no, seriously, I don't care what our parents like will say or anything like that, but yeah, she's just as dumb as me, but <laughs> I'm the more pretty one anyways. Well, if she wants to claim that she's the better one, that's fine. We all know what the actual truth is. She can't even do this. Nah.